Hello, hello. Are we hissing or are we picking up? Alright. <coughs> hissing and crackling. I just thought I'd film this uh, BSA setting up, although it might not necessarily pick the engine noise up. Nice old BSA twin. It's not revving it, should give it a good rev. <laughs> yeah, proper mod scooter. Look at all the mirrors. I've just been down to the boating lake to try and film the jet boat and it's been towed away. <laughs> I think it's broken down. A little white inflatable boat came and lashed a rope to it and dragged it off. I don't know what the deal is because they're not propeller driven. It just blasts a jet of water out if it is a proper jet boat. Well, that's a snug fitting front mug guard, isn't it? Look at that. You know. Uh, I'll have a last look round and then head off for home. I think the battery's going to be more or less connected. It's going to probably knock off very shortly. As I'm marrying this earlier, I've always liked GSXs as you might have noticed from a previous upload here. This is a final edition before they seize production and look at them levers. Very nice. Nice blue jivvy fairing. Nice as well. <laughs> but you can't get that uh, plastic into my fairing. Maybe I'm getting a bit too obsessed with the blue things. Uh, personally, the old black edition is best. I never like the blue and white one. I don't like all them chrome bits. Imagine black with lots of chrome. Very nice. So, here we are, so boy, car, what's it called? Carousel bike meets. I just had a hot chocolate in the cafe. License as well on the other side, in the uh, seating area down there. A nice smell of beer. I was tempted to have another shandy. Oh, very nice. Pity there's no official, well, you know, semi official bike meet at Blackpool near the Pleasure Beach. On a similar theme nice cafes, bogs. You know what I mean? There's nothing. It's the same time as one as far as I'm aware. Old BSA around there, let's have a look at that. Catchy, very nice. Test a little. Oh, test a stretcher. <coughs> a bit of an oil leak and he's changing the plugs. Oh dear. Was it a common fault with British bikes always going pear shaped? That's a big meaty lump in it, when you watch that. Intruder. 1800 intruder. Look at the 300. 
I had a 190 on my uh, X4, so that was wide. That's about three inch wide. Yeah. Right, let's get out of here before the battery runs out. I hope it's not hissing and crackling again. And the stereo cutting out. I was going to have a bite to eat, but I'll wait till I get home. <coughs> yes, I'm putting my Diddy jacket on. Seem being safe and look a prat, why not? I was asking that bloke there, he was hanging around a Harley if he knew about the uh, Hogfather shop. Yeah, he's closed. I said, Yeah, I've just been. So I'll just uh, have to come on a Saturday, I think, or maybe midweek. But of course, midweek, I don't think there's a bike of meat here, I might be wrong. We'll have to see, won't we? I'm not sure how you get out here. Like I said, the reason I had a cracked fern and had to repair it with fiberglass was I bumped down the curb here. <coughs> Could feel a draft. <laughs> right, how do you get out of here? Thank you. Where's that pram going? Twin buggy. Excuse me, thank you. <coughs> oh, marvellous, the bump is there. I can get round, I think. Gladys. <coughs> Very nice, isn't it? The carousel about me, picture about those building works, whatever they are. I'll continue up here, stop by the uh, promenade overlooking the lake and then carry on on the marine road which leads back onto the uh, whatever it is, A851 is it? Something like that, the road home anyway trying to avoid all them roundabouts I once, uh, well last year I got off and I'd loop around all these shops but there's nothing really for adult males, they're all women's things. There is a joke shop there but it wasn't much cop. <laughs> I wanted a frizzy wig, like a scouser wig type of thing or an afro wig. But they weren't up too much. Better wigs at Blackpool. 
I should be filming this, shouldn't I, as we're leaving? The 1st of June by meat. Look at that, no indication again. And a polynesian gladys. Right here, Albert. Some relatively young Albert. Yeah, you've already done it, haven't you? Remember that advert years ago, Reginald Mull husband. <laughs> Doing a 20 point turn. Still there's no rush, that's why that chap and that lady waved him on. No rush. Yeah, it's always been a nice town, slightly upper market than Blackpool, allegedly. Oh yeah, there's a lake, but no speedboats. The speedboats was kaput. How can a jet boat break down? Has a pilot light gone out? Not running, is it? Oh, it's there. Is that the maintenance shed? It's that yellow thing there near the paddle steamer. So the paddle steamer is not running, and the jet boat's conked out. Haven't you heard of a regular maintenance schedule to prevent these things? I quite fancy to do on that. <laughs> As I said, I was going to go on it and film, you know, the, I think they go around in a figure of eight around the islands and back again and do the same again and then back 20 minutes you get for £5.50. Not bad really because when you're going so fast, that 20 minutes will seem like an hour, you know what I mean? The faster you go, the more time uh, it'll seem a bit longer. Well, you know what I mean, don't you? So, can't film a jet boat. Lovely, isn't it? Maximum depth, four feet. No lakes at Blackpool. Well, I, I think there is actually. It's Stanley Park Zoo, there's a boating lake there, me and a mate went on years ago. It's not as nice as this. I like to live on the Little Islands. <laughs> anyway, enough of this waffling. Let's get. On the road home. And a good day out. Rivington, same point. Just a bit in the middle that was a bit of a pain. Unvisibility roundabouts. Let's get out of here. I sounded my uh, tires in the horn as I was, as I was leaving. <laughs> Didn't get much attention, but uh, I was talking to someone on the internet who suggested that people might consider it immature. Immature? Of course, aren't most bikers immature by the nature of all? Have you not noticed it's all bikers? They're slightly cuckoo. I'm the first one to agree, and as for immature, I mean, rev bombs are silly, making funny noises and talking about their dicks, as a lot of vloggers do. I actually unsub one who, every single upload, seems to be him squealing, <coughs> and making just funny, high pitched squealing noises, even though he was as tall as me, nearly. What was that all about? <coughs> Uh, I forgot to turn off onto the marine road, I don't like this road. I'll turn off, I'm not going back on the bloody main road with hundreds of, uh, look at that microwave oven dumps. Hundreds of bloody traffic lights and roundabouts. I'm 
I've seen you. Uh, so this marine road is uh, where the Elvis Teleport Air Show, of course, it's normally every September. I've been to it a couple of times. In fact, in my old camcorder, I still have uh, tapes of a Lancaster bomber and Spitfire and Hurricane Escort going over, but it's all a bit shaky. I could edit a bit into this if I knew how to edit. <laughs> Yeah, but it's often cancelled though because uh, in September it was raining once, foggy another time, visually in low cloud another time. It's a little bit hazy today, normally you can see Blackpool Tower right in the middle there and the windmill at St Anne's further down the coast. Very rarely see the tide in here, although it does come in, of course, now and again. Thirty, and you know where I get past this fella shortly. Well, my pocket zipped up, I had something drop earlier, but it wasn't something I'd done. Well, my pockets are zipped. Credit card wallets, etc. Very bumpy road this, as you can see. But it is free of traffic lights. <laughs> oh, <I didn't> know. <laughs> oh, good job, I didn't have anything to eat. I think I might have brought it all back up again. Oh, 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 oh. Where shall we go next weekend? Blackpool. <sighs> Is it worth mentioning again? Oh, 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 this little works here is actually a sand. A sand works. They actually found that the sand, which isn't actually sand, it's crushed shells. Millions and millions of crushed shells. And they use it in uh, glass polishing to polish lenses and things. So they sell it all over the world as uh, an abrasive for glass polishing. Isn't that amazing? Selling sand. Actually near Salisbury Hall, which is where I was a few weeks ago, they're up in Arn because a company, similar type of thing, is after digging millions and millions, or literally millions of tons of fine gravel from uh, the layer to the river, or where the river used to. There's a big bend there, but apparently years ago it was all a big wide expanse and all the gravel from years of running water. Uh, an aggregate firm wants to shovel it all up and pay a few quid and all the residents are playing hell saying it'll ruin all the scenery it's all like this flat and green and they say they're going to dig up millions of tons so there we are Salisbury that girl deserved a whistle and this end of uh, this place, Southport, this is a wildfowl preservation area. Come and check pictures of uh, all the migrating birdies. I think I just passed one. <laughs> and their fine plumage. <coughs> Here we are at the sewage works. I should knock this off really because uh, it's going to knock off shortly anyway if it hasn't done already. And then I'll just uh, I'll pull in here, film the normal journey home until it does conk out.
Oh, Festival of Transport next weekend, 100 end lane Hesketh Bank. Festival of, does that mean vintage vehicles again? Possibly. Right, anyway, like I said, it's goodbye for me. I'll upload this later this afternoon. It's goodbye for me. Goodbye from Cheetah. <laughs> goodbye from Grover and goodbye from Tarzan. <coughs> yes, quite. Goodbye.